right, good morning, good morning. All right. Waiting for people to pop on. I have a little bug here I'm gonna get rid of in the basement. <laughs> Yuck. Oh, basement bugs. All right, guys, today we have cardio hit. Um, I am actually doing this one from my 10 week hit program that I created in like 2020. Um, it is week one second workout, if you've got it. Um, this is a good one, you guys. It's a upper body burn with cardio. So it is cardio based and it's upper body Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do four cardio exercises in a row, haha. <laughs> so that's gonna be timed for 40 seconds. That's gonna be challenging for me too. Um, we're gonna challenge the cardio a little bit today. And then we're gonna stand and recover and do some arms. Okay, and those are gonna be timed too. So for the arms, there is bicep curls, there is bent over rear fly or row. So with regards to that, if you do have a TRX, I'm highly recommending this is where you do your rows, okay? Any sort of assisted pull-up situation will work. If you're totally fine in this position and you're fine with your low back and you like that fly, go for it. Or you can be here. There is one other option I'm going to show you um, if you have a bench. So I'm just going to quickly show you guys this one because we have not done it in the past, uh, I don't know if ever. So just to show you so before we get started, you can incline your bench, come down. Mine is nice because I can almost go right to my knees. My head can go down and I can go here. And the nice thing about that is your back is in a good position and you're supported. Okay, so you just got to be careful of your head and neck. On that one okay so we are going to be working those back muscles we worked them a lot on Monday we're going to get them again um, those are your options there so not a lot of legs other than the cardio oh and we do have shoulders instead of we did lots of shoulder plus press last week we will be going out to the side uh, today all right hopefully that makes sense your BOSU can be handy if you want it for burpees. I do have burpees in here. Again, they're always optional. <sighs> That's my spiel. I'm already warmed up for my spiel. Arm circle <laughs> backwards and forwards. And I know it's the first day of school for a lot of families. So um, this 8.30 time might be really bad in the middle of it. Um, I would like to know that you guys moving forward. I know we're keeping um, Monday really early, like 7.30, Wednesday, 8.30. We're staggering everything Friday night and Saturday and Friday. We're alternating. Arm circles and forward and back. Let's try opposite arms if you can. So start with both your hands up and see if you can do some brain gym this morning, moving hands in opposite directions. <laughs> Try the other way. Good, take your hands behind your back gently and then just send your head over to the side, stretching out through the shoulder, head and neck all the way down. Peel your neck or your chin away from your shoulder. You can use your other hand to kind of push your shoulder away and lift your chin up and hold, take a breath. Exhale. Roll through the front, other side. Feeling that neck stretch. Peeling that chin away, pushing that shoulder away. And I know for me, you guys, I was really sore from Monday, so I know I pushed myself. I, self, I can feel my muscles still today. So tuck your chin in, roll yourself all the way down. Stay down here. You're gonna feel your hamstrings if you did Monday with me. Shake your head yes and no. And if you waited till Tuesday, that's totally fine too. You'll probably feel it just the same. Step yourself back into plank. Give me eight mountain climbers. Eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, and one. Push back into downward dog right away here, you guys. Pedal your heels. We're going to do a quick warm up today. It's not going to be too long, but I do want to make sure we prepare our body both mentally and physically, getting the central nervous system all figured out before we start jumping around. Knees and hands, kneeling position, really arch. Let your tail come up, let your chin come up. Tuck everything, tuck your tail, push your upper back, really feel that stretch. Do it again two more times, inhale. Let everything drop. Good. Exhale. Really exaggerate these rounding and arching movements. Tuck your chin, tuck your tail. Other direction. And exhale. Good. Tuck your toes again. Come back into plank. Come down onto your elbows. Okay, we haven't done this in a while. I want you to see if you can kind of do a little bit gentle twist over. You do not have to touch your hip. I don't want anybody feeling any bad twisting. Okay, so feet are fairly together. You're gonna do a little baby rotation. Okay, just feeling your core start to engage when you drop and rotate. We're gonna do eight more. It's kind of tricky with the feet. Eight, seven, you might have to adjust them. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now come up onto your hands. Now give me eight mountain climbers. Stay here. Eight, tuck it in. Seven, tuck your knee towards your nose. Six, five, four, three, two, one, come into a well-deserved child's pose, knees apart, toes together, reach those hands away, take a big inhale, exhale, drop your elbows down, getting a stretch through those shoulders, reach those hands to the right, bum to the left, reach and stretch, big, big, big side stretch, good, other side, same thing, take a breath, Don't hold your breath when you're stretching, you guys. Make sure you take a big inhale and exhale. Good. Come back to center. Push up into downward dog. Pedal your heels again. Big calf stretches. Lift up your right leg. Open it up. Swing it through. Drop your back knee. Open up towards that leg. Feel that nice opening. Open the chest. Stretch the hammy. So I'm really feeling my hamstrings, you guys, from Monday the most from all those sort of single leg deadlift situations. So be very careful when you're warming up here. Good. If it feels yucky to stretch them, let's just fold and hold for a second. Let's take a breath. Exhale. Let it go. Come forward to come out of it so you can have both hands on the same side. Pick up your back knee and then see if you can lift using your core. Take your foot back. Go back into downward dog. Lift the other side. Swing through. Drop. Opening up. Slide forward. And open. This is going to be a quick one today, guys. 20 minutes is the total amount of time. So I need you to find that intensity in that cardio. Let's hold it here when we get to it. Good, opening up, sliding back, hold it here. Take a breath, exhale. Good, both hands on the same side, come back to that lunge position, tuck that back knee up, go back to your downward dog. Walk your hands and feet together. Slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time, really round. All right, our cardio start is gonna get us into it. I'm just gonna make sure nothing's in my way here. There. Okay, grab a quick sip. Here we go, here we go. We're starting off, you have choice. Side runs or hopping over the mat, okay? 40 seconds. 
We have four back-to-back -back cardios. Then we have jump, squat jumps, very basic. And then we have high knees or bum kicks I have written. And then we have burpees. And of course, with burpees, there's all sorts of other things you could do as well. Okay, so we'll get there. And I'll let you know what else you can do. Okay, ready? We are starting. I'm gonna start with hopping over my mat. Three, two, and one. 40 seconds, go. So 40 seconds, you guys, is long <laughs> for four court cardios. So the first set, you're feeling it out. The second set, you're gonna try and push a little bit harder. The third set, you're gonna push as hard as you can. Push. Two, and one. Squat jumps for 40 seconds. Remember, legs are feeling tired. You can be here. Maybe it's every second one to start. Three, two, one, let's go. So I'm doing every second one. So I'm kind of coming up to my toes. I squat down. I'm getting some air. Keep moving wherever you are. Leg burn. Here it is. Two. And one. Third one. Running or jogging on the spot or all the way high skip, or you're gonna high knees, big run, or last option, kick your bum, go. You can do a combination of high knees and bum kicks, okay? So, about eight reps. If you got music on, you'll probably do eight. <laughs> it's automatic. And then you'll do bum kicks. Push down into the ground. I'm just turning to the side to show you that I'm kicking my bum. Lean forward. Three, two, one. We have burpees. Picking it up. Three, two, and one. Go. I'm doing the Bosu, and I'm not jumping at the top on this one. So, if you're starting to feel it, you can add that jump. Or maybe it's a heel click at the top. Just feel out where your legs are today, guys. There goes my AirPod. Two and one. You know, I've got four. So, okay, pause, quick set. We're going into our arms. Straight bicep curls for 40 seconds. It's not a lot of time, so I need you to grab fairly heavy. We're going in six seconds. I'm going to start out with 15s. I'll try to go up on the second set. Go because you're catching your breath, <clears throat> just be mindful of your form. <sighs> Abs are in, breathe. After this, we have those flies or rows, any sort of assisted pull-up will work, <sighs> or that laying on your bench, forward facing in an incline, you can do those flies with light weights, light weights for the back. Squeeze, three, two, and one. So I'm gonna do the TRX row. Air, wherever you are at, flies, rows. Here we go, 40 seconds. It's just enough to get into position for the next exercise.
Squeeze those shoulder blades. Elbows are coming back and down, not high. Shoulders are away from the ears. Glutes and abs are tight. Two and one. I probably never said this one. Oh, maybe I did. Push-ups, guys. All right, guys, we're going to start off with tricep push-ups. Triceps. Hands narrow. You're going to go all the way down. Release your hands. Push yourself up. If you're like, this is too easy, Amy, I can do the full version. Go up onto your feet and then come down and see if you can push all the way up onto your feet. You got to lift those hips. Maybe it's knees and feet. Just watch that spine. Three, two, and one. Quick child's pose. Gently get up, nice and easy here. We're going out to the side with those shoulders. I'm grabbing 12s. Go. Breathe. A light grip, bent knees, you're bent over slightly. Your elbows are only going as high as your shoulders. We were doing it. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay, moving on. Putting my water here. Ready or not, hopping over the mat. Let's get this done. Seven seconds. Three, two, and one, let's go. See if you can push a little harder, go a little quicker. jumps. Oh, these kill me. Three, two, one. Let's do it together. Push. We got our high knees. I think I switched the order. 
I see that now. Go. I might like this order better. We'll switch it back and see. Doesn't matter as long as we're doing the cardio. You're either less tired or more tired for the burpees. Go, 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 run on the spot. Push down. Three, two, and one. Pause. I feel like we have more than three sets in us today. Just throwing it out there. But I think we're gonna try and get through an extra set today. All right, bicep curls. I'm gonna try with my 20s. I'm just making this really hard for my biceps. 40 seconds, because it is counted. Or I mean timed. Amy, brain gone. Packing, helping pack three kids for university this week has drained my brain. Good, abs in. Try not to swing if it's heavy. breathing. Two and one. All right, guys, push-ups, this time chest, hand release with the chest or full chest push-up here. So from your knees, if that's where you're at, most of people will, you hand release, come up here or you're pushing all the way up, practicing going to your feet, lowering down either from your feet or putting your knees down and lowering down from there. Hand release today. This will help you get really good push-up form doing it, practicing it this way. Keep your head in line with your spine, push those hands and go. You're also squeezing those shoulder blades at the back. Good. Gently getting up. Shoulder raise. Two and one. Let's go. Light grip. Lift. Abs in. This is a great workout. I was just thinking if you were somewhere where you just had a couple dumbbells and that's it, or even a hotel workout, this would be perfect. All right, take a moment, take a rest. We're gonna go again. And then I'm going to convince you guys to do a fourth round. So now you know what's coming. Hop overs. Okay, or side runs. If you wanna mix it up, you can. Getting ready. I'm hopping over the mat in eight seconds. 
Getting ready. Three, two, one. Use my arms. Big hops. Come on. Nice and warm. Push through. Push. Cardio, name of the game today, squat jumps. Three, two, one. So just squats if you want them. Go. Come on, come on. start if you're ready or take that breath. Let's go. So high knees if you want it, little skips and bum kicks. Push down hard into the ground, tall spine, breathe. Go, 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 come on. Rest coming, push. seconds. Shoulders back, elbows in, abs tight, feet hip distance. Try not to swing. Rotating up. Light grip. Thank goodness. <laughs> that was heavy. Okay. Don't be fooled, you guys. We're using biceps on all of these. When you're doing your back, you're working your biceps. When you are working your chest, you're also working your biceps. Pull. Rear fly, okay, bent over row or TRX row. Breathe. Two, 
two, and one. All right, guys, those push-ups. Yes, I thought I messed up the order here, but I didn't. Let's go back to triceps, two, one, go down. Lift your hands, see if you can push up. Maybe you're gonna be on your knees. Maybe you're gonna stay on your feet. Rest more if you need to at the bottom. Do your best to keep your best form. Two. And one. We're coming up for shoulders. Give me a child's pose. Gently come up carefully. Three, two, one. Here we go. Breathe. Abs in. Elbows out to the side. done. This is good. Okay. Let's rest. Let's contemplate. 901. Let's rest a little longer. Let's stretch a tiny, tiny bit. Do one more. If you're like, no way, totally fine. You can be done. If you want to push yourself through one more set with good form, Maybe you're going to go lighter weight, if that makes you decide to do it. Quad stretch here, shaking my leg out, opening up through my chest. And shoulder. Okay, let's do it before we lose interest. Hop overs or side runs. I'll show you the side runs just so you know what they look like, because I didn't show you. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Push. So hopping over or side to side. Go, go, go. 40 seconds hard. This is like the good old high school suicide, side to side run. Touching the lines. Go. Push. Go, go, go. Three, two, one. Squat jumps. Oh, it's like wishing it wasn't, but it was. Here we go. Three, two, one. Yes. It's hard. Best you can. I'm jumping every second one for 40 seconds. Push. If it's like you're no, you know, you're super tired here, you're like, there's no way, Amy. Just keep moving, don't jump. Go. Ha. Come on, it's short lived. Do it. Two and one. Woo. Okay, let's do the burpees. I know. I made this order different, but I like this better. Two and one, let's go. Hard. Ending with those high knees. Squat, plank, squat, stand or jump. Go. Keep going, think of it as a squat to plank. Go, go, go. All the way. Two. One, we got this. 
high knees. Taking my rest. Three, two, one, go. Kick your bum. Bring those knees up. Kick your bum. Knees up. Go, go, go. for one sec. Grab water. Okay, here we go. Best set ever of strength. We're going in three seconds. Ready or not? Three, two, and one. So what's going to happen to me is I'm likely going to fail. I'm going to try not to. And then I'm going to alternate my biceps. I'm going to see if I can make it. So anytime you can always alternate, especially if you're doing two dumbbell movements with arms. Ugh. So you can get that heavy weight in. Two. Okay, flies, let's do it. Actually, I'll show you bent over flies. I go light on these, you guys, eight, 10, or 12, okay? Because I want to get the range of motion. And I have a shoulder, right shoulder blade that doesn't love it. Bum back, abs in. Good job. Modify as much as you need to here as you get tired. Three, two, one. Find a quick child's pose. Take a breath. Last exercise. Who knew? Shoulder raise. Go. Breathe, good form guys. So when you get tired, you can do one at a time, keeping that good form. Super important. Breathe. Two. And one, I'm done. Hope you're done too. Hope you worked every muscle hard. Water, water, I've drank almost all my water. I know that means it's been hard. Stay standing. We're gonna stretch. We're gonna do a little bit of core on the floor. We're gonna give those arms and legs a break though and just lay on our back. So hamstring stretch, what you're doing here is squeezing your bum cheek first, then pulling your heel to your bum. 
Shake it out, other side. Push your hip forward. Shake it out. Let's do hamstring stretch. If you've got anywhere where you can put your foot a little higher, your heel a little higher, bend into your back leg, come forward. You might even be able to put your hand on your toe. Hamstring stretch. If it's available to you, fingertips down, let your head go. Gently come up with the tall spine, other side. Stick your bum cheeks away from you. Sit bones to the sky. Weight can just be on that bent back leg, or you can come forward. Coming down onto your spine. It's gonna feel good right now, just to give your knees a hug. Roll around on your spine. Let's go into a quick happy baby, just to reset the spine. Reaching up towards those feet. At this point, you could take off your socks and shoes if you like. Take a deep breath. Let your back rest into the mat. Knees are going into the armpits. All right, extend yourself out for just a big, big body stretch to start. I want you to feel your abs when you're stretching like this, pull in. So take a deep breath in first to bring your belly up. And when you exhale, all the air out, suck your belly button in. Okay, so that's the feeling you want when you're about to do these next abs. So bring your knees up so your feet are flat on the ground. Tuck your tailbone under. Put your hands behind your head for a pillow. Bring your knees in. Suck your belly button in like you breathed all your air out of your mouth and out of your lungs. You're going to tap your toes and you're going to curl in. Okay, now, a lot of you like to do this where you do both. You can if you like, or you can just focus on that low core, which is all you really need here. We're gonna do 10 more, pull it in, 10. Now think of using your core, not your legs or your hips, okay? Not your hip flexors. Eight more, focus on that spot we sucked in. Good. Five. Four, three, feel that pulled in feeling, two, and one. You're going to take a rest here, put your knees apart and your feet together. Release your hands and give yourself a big, huge hug. Reach for those shoulder blades and drop those elbows, relaxing everything down. Drop those elbows towards your chest. Take a breath. Exhale, feel all the air, exhale out of the belly and the lungs. Do it again, inhale, filling with air, exhale, letting all the air out. Switch to the other side, other hand on top. Take some breath, inhale, and exhale. Good, you guys. Taking the opportunity to consciously breathe, okay? This is your opportunity to consciously breathe in your day. Bring your knees back. This time you're gonna lift your legs up. Tuck your tailbone under so your sacrum is nice and heavy and planted into the ground. Feel that belly button pulled in feeling. Your knees can be as bent as you like. This time we're gonna do one leg at a time lowering. I want you to focus again on that low core. You do not have to lift up your head and neck. Your hands are just there for a pillow situation. So let's see how slow you can go. You decide how straight you want your legs. Keep your belly button in your sacrum heavy, slowly lower, and then slowly come back up. Do it again. Slowly lower, see if you can hold it at the bottom. And then maybe if you wanna try coming up and then stay up and lift that leg. Everything goes down with the head. Go down, hold. Slow abs, you guys, slow abs. This is not about speed. Lift that leg back up, lay back down. One more time each side. Go down, hold it down there. Pull up, pull those abs in, feel them work. Good. 
Leg comes up, head goes down. Last time on this side, go down, holds. Lift up. Good, come down again, feet together, knees apart. And I just want you to focus on releasing through the inner thigh, letting your hips go. Okay, we're gonna stretch here for the next 10 minutes. I'm gonna take off my shoes. Let's start with a body twist, hugging your right knee in nice and tight. Again, breathe up into your knee. Fill and then exhale out. Take your opposite hand on your knee, over you go, nice twist. Feeling a nice stretch and opening, trying to anchor both shoulders on the ground. You might want to shift your hips back in line so your hips and shoulders are more in line depending on how that feels on your spine. And if you did Monday with me, I can feel those beautiful glute muscles. Good, gently coming back to center. Just center yourself completely first. Hug your other leg in. Left knees in. Hug it tight. Breathe up against your knee. Exhale. Send yourself over. Shift your hips. I've tucked my top leg into my bottom leg and I'm also feeling a nice stretch here through those glutes. Take a deep breath, exhale. Remember guys, stretching is very important, if not more important than all the other stuff. It's something you definitely don't wanna be skipping. If you're sitting all day, if you don't ever lengthen your muscles, they are not gonna perform for you. Turn all the way over onto your side. Push your hip forward, grab your ankle. Open all the way up. Tuck your tailbone. So quad stretch here, a little bit more into the hip flexor. If you shift your upper body over, you might feel it in a different spot or more intensely. Good, swing yourself all the way over to the other side. Push your hips forward, heel to the bum. If this isn't enough, that is when I do this. Tuck your tail and shift my hips over here. Some of you might even be able to lie all the way down, feeling that stretch increase as you lay down further. All right, gently coming up, side stretches, one leg in, all the way over. Take a big inhale breath, exhale, fold yourself over. Open up, feeling a low back stretch here. Over you go. Take a big inhale, maybe come up and out of it for a second. Take another big exhale, over you go. Take this top hand behind you, lift your hips up. You're gonna go into your knee and your foot. Lift up and stretch open through that core and even more through the hip. Take a breath. Good. Switch to the other side, same exact thing. Hand over. Take a breath. Go a little further. Take that hand behind you, lift all the way up. Just about there, guys. Come forward into downward facing dog, pedaling your heels without those shoes on. Really find that calf stretch. Lift up one leg, open it up, and swing through to pigeon. So 
left knee to left wrist or right knee to right wrist, whichever side you're on. If you want, you can try and reach back on either side and get that quad stretch again. Or you can just settle in and release everything to the ground. Music out of my ears, blaring. Take a deep breath in through your nose, inhale, and exhale it out. Good. See if you can release that glute down. Everything goes down. Feeling a fair bit of sensation, but just trying to relax into it. From there, you're going to drop yourself onto that glute at the front. Take your back leg all the way up and see if you can cross it over. If you cannot cross it over, undo your bottom leg so it's straight. And then hug and sit tall, feeling that stretch in that glute. Trying to anchor those sit bones, sit up nice and tall. Okay, we're going to go back the way we came out of it. So this top leg goes back. Push up onto your hands, downward facing dog. Other side, I'm gonna go onto my right, right knee to right wrist. Pigeon on the other side. Staying up if you want it for some extra quad stretching. And coming down. Exhale. All right, so tomorrow, since it's back to back workouts, um, what we're going to do is some metabolic weights likely. So hopefully it won't be too crazy, but I always say that and then it, it is. Um, but it'll just be weights, um, but we'll be doing combined weight movements. So we'll be doing compound movements combined with each other. So for example, uh, a squat and a curl or a squat and a side raise or a side lunge or something like that. So we'll just do some weighted compound exercises, likely timed, get us sweaty, get us moving our muscles, and then we'll have a nice long weekend. <laughs> Drop yourself down onto that front hip and cross over. Sit bones anchored, sit up nice and tall. And then Tuesday starts the challenge if you're totally wanting to just do that and not do the lives, you can. I did come on separately and do a quick live yesterday kind of discussing how that works. I'm still gonna be coming on um, live and then you guys can either do the challenge with everybody else or you can pick it up when I go away and do it then. Sitting, let's do those inner thighs, you guys. Sitting up nice and tall, hinging at the hip joint, Coming forward, just feeling you might feel your hamstrings more in, than inner thighs just because of what we did Monday. They might be extra tight. So just tight, try and just release them a little bit here. Take an inhale breath, crawl your fingertips forward if you can, or maybe you're just trying to sit up tall with those hands behind you. Exhale, calming that central nervous system all the way back down, you guys, so important. revving it up slowly in the warm up, getting it going hard and then bringing it right back down. From there, you're gonna go upside down, but I want you to go in ragdoll and then just put your feet actually quite wide. Interlace your fingers behind you if you can, stretching and opening up through the shoulder and the chest and squeeze your palms together and see if you can just even let some gravity take those hands down towards your head. Release those hands down, bring your feet a little closer together. Take one hand in the center and do our IT band stretch and even focusing a little bit more on this top shoulder, you can reach and tuck it, that hand. See, I'm tucking it into my front pocket here on the other side. Switch to the other side, same thing. Let your head and neck go. Slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. We're going to stretch that chest and bicep again. Last time. 
hand up higher than your shoulder, find a wall, put your hand behind you, open up. Try it also, you guys, in a doorway is good with a bent elbow and you're gonna really feel that chest opening, front of the shoulder and bicep. Switch to the other side. Okay, tomorrow we're going at nine. Give those, of, uh, those people who have trouble getting there, or the timing isn't right for getting your kids out of the house. Um, hopefully that works for you guys. All right. Thanks for showing up. See you guys later. Bye.